Good evening, YouTube. Um, deja vu, same position. <laughs> Another day, we're back out again. Um, we had a little delivery today. Um, I'll go over what we're going to do uh, on the car, car today. I went over it last night at the end of last night's video, but um, we, we yeah we've had a delivery. It actually came a few days ago, but the uh, Royal Mail issues with, with all this. But anyway, there we are. So um, it's basically it's just some gussets, you know, for the doors. And I was meant to measure them and measure the angles. Uh, so meant to measure the angles on them. Uh, I just, but I just chanced it in the end. I thought I'll, I'll just order them, see if they fit. Because I wanted the car and I wanted them here, you know. Um, yeah. So, yeah, just just some little laser cut. Um, quite nice actually. Um, just got a little lightning nails, you know, and then being strengthened, pressed. Um, but yeah, they're nice, nicely cut. So we'll see if they. They're just going on the door bars there. I think. Oh, yeah, sound. Perfect fit. <laughs> so, um, it's not bad, but I'm pleased with that. So, yeah, just one, one on, on both sides. I'm just hoping I'll do it one handed. <laughs> uh, so, I uh, strap off. Oh, yeah, I got. Uh, I got the seat in last night. Uh, I'll go on and show you. That looks good, that. Well, I think it does, yeah. So I'm just going to uh, weld weld them in fully. Um, they look good when it's all painted. So I've just got two pairs of them, obviously one for each side. Um, yeah, I put the seat in last night and it was fouling. Um, can you see here? Fouling on there, you can see it there, look. So, I've had to, the seat position, the seat bolt, I don't know if you can see, but the seat actually, see in there, actually bolts up sound, you know, the bolt holes, I didn't even, I, to, I should have checked it, you know, before I welded it. It's not fully welded, it's still just tacked. You've seen that on the end of the video last night. Um, but I didn't even check the position, you know, of the back, the back piece when I was welding it, I, I should have, um, but my luck again, it, it was perfect, it fit perfect, so. Um, but yeah, the issue now is this seat, the wing's fouling on here. So I've moved it forward, um, the seat rail forward uh, on the adjustment, and then I've like um, moved this up on one of the. Uh, have I moved this up? No, I've moved the seat down so I'm lower to the ground, and that side is different. So uh, it's one bolt hole different, so the seat's actually a tiny little bit over that way. But I'll probably I'll probably be able to adjust that and fine tune it, you know, to get it. As as long as the seat rails are in the car, um, it doesn't really matter, you know. Um, like, so I can get it painted. I can adjust the seat afterwards um, on the seat adjustments. Um, as long as I know the welds right, which is so I'm selling there. Um, other thing, what else we're going to do today? Oh yeah. So uh, we're going to get that seat rail welded in um, fully. I've just spot welded it in like four little other locations but um i'm gonna do that it's absolutely freezing so as, as soon as i've done that i'm just gonna do a little intro video like this um and then get the heat back on but you can't hear me when that thing's on it's like a it's like an air jet aircraft um yeah so we're gonna cut the accusum box out this bit here there's actually a little hole in the floor where i noticed yesterday see there where I think he's blown through or axed through or something. Probably blown through, looks like it. But um, yeah, I'll use a little bit of this tin, weld it up. Oh, there's loads of tin up there anyway, so use that. Uh, what else are we gonna do? Um, I've got a list, I can't be asked to get it out. We'll just, we'll just uh, chance, you know, just go through uh, and I'll just update you. But uh, the uh, clip end, we're gonna weld the clip end on the front. Um, because that wants, I mean, it was saying about riveting it. Um, I mean, by, by the time you're watching this video tonight, I will have already welded it, so it's <laughs> it's not going to be in debate, but um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to literally weld it. Uh, it's yeah, it's not got, I, I say it's not going to strap, it's got the bonnet uh, or catches going onto it, but it'll be it'll be plenty strong enough, it's strong enough now to be fair, but and it's just tacked on with a stick welder. <laughs> Um, oh, the other thing, we're going to make some radiator brackets, so we're going to drain the coolant out of this car. Um, I found a tub somewhere. Drain the coolant out of this car, 
and um, yeah, uh, put the top radiator brackets on up here. Is that? I don't think that's the best angle, is it? Yeah, put the top radiator brackets on up here, so they're just bolt on, and then uh, weld some. I think they're 170 mil in from the chassis end leg. I already did a measurement to the centre, and then they are actually just like about an inch off the back of this bar. So it's going to weld some nice little bits of steel just on there and then put the original factory rubber grommets in. Um, other thing I've got to do is, I'll get underneath here. Uh, I've got to clean off all this, you know, off the weld, off all these uh, things. I was meant to do that yesterday, but um, I've got distracted with other stuff. But yeah, so I'll speak to you speak to you again uh, and update you when I've um, got them bits done get the seat all on that but I'll, I'll put on time lapse again so you can see not too long but I'll just put a little time lapse in and then you'll uh, get the gist of what I'm doing so yeah I'll speak to you again um, shortly Right, so um, that just a, a little update. Um, we've got all this cleaned off. I've got the, the front clip end, clip end, sorry, welded on. Uh, put that on. Uh, just go went back in the spot welds basically. Uh, but uh, not a fantastic weld. But um, I kept blowing through this. It's only real thin tin. I couldn't get the setting right on the on the make. So <laughs> in my practice, in my ear, look. Laying some like some loads up again. Uh, yeah, same on this side, it's solid, like um yeah. All all solid now. Well that I've ground it back, you know, uh, I, I actually changed one thing I was gonna say, I changed the flap flap wheel on the uh, grinder from uh it's on the grinder down there, but uh, one of the grinders didn't go the way I realized. Uh, changed from a uh, 80 grit, that one's, that one's an 80 grit, you know, it's like a, a sanding wheel thing, um, to uh, a 40 grit, and obviously <laughs> it fucking sanded twice as quick. So, uh, yeah, I cleaned off all the. I'll go under here to get it. Um, yeah, I cleaned off all the. You can see that, sure. Yeah, cleaned off all these. Where the welds were. I think they've come for right, considering they had plates welded over them. Um, give that a bit of clean off. I'm going to put a bit more weld in that bottom there because I'm just, I can't grind it back anymore without um, till they like, you know, thin the metal of the actual plate. Um, done them too. They, they were for the heaters. Just clean them off a bit. I, I mean, it's not a it's not a show car or anything. So, um, yeah, it's a different job. That needs a bit more grinding off. I think that's, that's the weld. It's not the actual hole. Um, but yeah, that's only got a little bit of a drive for the wiring. So that's all uh, nice and sound in there. Brake looks just come up perfect, really. I'll we'll bolt straight back on. I just need to. I was speaking to uh, one of my mates um, last night, Sergio, and he, um, he was, we were talking about the brake booster from the previous video. Uh, he said he's got an Evo, uh, Evo 8, I think it is. It's an 8, isn't it? Seven or eight, seven or nine. It's one of them, um, like, uh, and 
he said he had well, he's got the same cage as this custom cage custom cages cage full uh, welding kit you know, that and he's done it himself and um, he said when he put the brake booster in uh, he, when, when he went to weld this in he had to strip all the brake booster off and he said he had about two mil worth of clearance from the brake booster to this so we'll see um, I said to him we'll cut the brake booster open but he said the diaphragms uh, inside so you can't cut it and notch it um, I just followed my aggregate clearance but we'll have a look at that when we come to it because we can't do anything about moving this cage so it's, that is where it is um, we might maybe have to notch this and then put a piece in but um, I might drive it here I don't know I mean stripping all licking brick but I will but I suppose it's better to do it before it's painted um, yeah, I cleaned the little bits off like this. I've got this side uh, one to do here, that's awful, horrendous, but um, I think I'll just clean it off and then lay another weld in top. I was going to start doing all these again, you know, redoing all the welds, but I said, you're going to make them look worse. Like, they, they're bad, but they're not, they're not going to look any better if I go over them, if that makes sense. They're just going to be like a big fat weld, you know, it's going to look horrible. So um, I'm probably just going to leave them, Prime is going to cover it up. Um, I've decided finally for what I'm going to do uh, colour wise. So this, uh, the engine bay is going to go in gloss Nardo Grey, uh, like the RS3 colour sort, you know that Nardo Grey, like Primer Grey. Um, the engine bay is going in that, the whole of the inside is going in that. Uh, so um, acid X primer, the whole the whole car basically, and then Nado Grey inside, Nado Grey uh, inside here, and then I don't know whether I'll do the um, Raptor first or not, but we're going to Raptor white uh, underneath so we can see if we have any oil leaks or anything like that. Um, obviously, I, that car I made, but I knew what I was doing when I did it, but I. Um, I painted everything black, engine block, gloss black, everything, and obviously you can't see any oil leaks. So um, the hole underneath as well is under seal black, so you can't see anything. So if you get like you know, a leak from somewhere, I don't know, a CV boot gone on, just so anything like that, it's just like, where's that coming from? Whereas if it's white underneath, um, you'll see it straight away. And um, it's also like the most robust paint, so it's going to be a little bit heavier, but it's. When I hit when I come off the track, inevitably, I've done it quite frequently. <laughs> um, when I come off the track, I'm going to hit the gravel and then it's going to stone chip. And if it's just normal 2K paint underneath, you know, like what I'm doing the, the inside bits, it's going to chip like mad. Um, and then and then it's going to rock because we've got lots of bare metal. And then. So we're just doing Raptor paint. Um, it's solid and uh, it's, it's for that, set, you know, it's for that job, you know, like a uh, truck bed liner, truck bed liner. Really, so. Um, right, I'm gonna go and get some lunch now anyway because it's like what time is it? Two o'clock. So um, and I'm gonna wear my mask when I get back because my nose is full of shit. Um, yeah, and then we're gonna go when I get back. I'm gonna cut the box out of the. Can you see it? Cut it out and clean up the cage. I gotta grind a little bit of the uh, weld off to fit them gussets nice and tight and then we're going to weld them gussets in and finish cleaning off uh, the, where the old uh, bars were for the cage. Um, yeah, I've been uh, having a good day. It doesn't look like there's no major things going now, you know, like there's not like major works. So uh, if, if you're like tuning into the videos and then like uh, missing like missing a bit, it won't look like much is going on now because it's all these little daft bits that are real time consuming. But, we should still be on track um, for uh, having it painted next week um, or definitely towards the mid to end of next week having it uh, at least prepped, um, definitely anyway. Uh, I've, just, I've just had a bit of news, I won't go too deep into it, but um, with, with regards to this corona stuff, uh, I might be getting furloughed. Um, I don't know yet, but uh, I might not have to go back to work, uh, or only for a couple of days, which is it, it's better for me to, uh, so I can be cracking up with this, but um, I'll keep you updated anyway, so uh, yeah, I'm going to go get some lunch and I'll come back and we'll, uh, I'll probably be a time lapse when I get back, uh, or I might, yeah, I'll probably be a time lapse, and it'll just be me cleaning that up and grinding that box all over there and flipping the car over, 
Um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you soon. So, back after lunch. Um, I thought I'd just crack on. Uh, I forgot, I forgot. I was to put it, try put up, you know, for a time lapse. But I, I don't know if you want to, if, like, let me know when you'd prefer time lapses, like short ones, like what I've been doing, not the long one, like from the second episode. And then, uh, or would you just prefer me to just put uh, update, you know, like, uh, with bits that I've done? Somebody said that you like the time lapses, you know, like, um, as you can see what I'm doing. Um, and just yeah, keep it short. Anyway, I took the radio, I traded the coolant out of this, out of this car, so I just ripped that, uh, ripped, I ripped all that off. Um, you can see how badly rotten this is, bloody hell. Um, how that was, I was going around the track with that bloody thing, but look at it, rotten, absolutely gone. But anyway, um, it's, it, it's dead this car, going to the scrapyard when it's done, so got all the shells out. Um, anyway, drain the coolant, took that off, took the radio off, uh, and then I fabbed up, put, put the radiator in place like that, uh, as you can see, uh, as you see, like that. Goes in place there, and I've just bolted it with the top two rubbers, do you know, the, uh, and that goes like that. Um, and then I'll go underneath and show you what I've made. I've made like, um, I'm trying to see that no, no, it's not very really like that, but um, I basically just welded, I've made like two little brackets. You see, see them there, there, maybe. A little more like it. These brackets here, just a little L bracket there, all with a bit of angle. L bracket there, welded it on. And then I've just cut uh, the old seat rails actually. Um, the old seat rails there, look. Rails, uh, cut them down, and then I've just got the original rubbers, uh, the original radio mount rubbers, going to the bottom of there, and I'm just going to weld on here now. That's it. I just put the inner colour on to make sure everything uh, lines up in that respect. Um, and it does, it's all centralised and spot on. Um, I'm also going to make a look up there a little bit, make a tube to go in between that gap there. there. Uh, get a better angle for me. See, see up there? This this goes back a little bit like that and then just, just a little tube just to go in there out of, out of that same stuff again. Um, just, to, just to support the top like that, uh, make it stronger. Um, so yeah, uh, after that we'll weld, I think I'm going to weld them gussets in the door crosses and then we'll cut the box thing off, but I will, I'll put it on at the time as well, I'll remember. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's catch you in a bit. Right, I forgot to put the uh, time lapse on again. Um, we've got them welded up now. Um, I may have to go at welding up. I've, I've, he's done the, uh, the one on the, on the driver's side, I've done the bit of the back. So, um, I'm getting a bit better at it. See, I'll uh, I'll flip I'll flip the car over and uh, all this welding. Mm. Should hold a ton. So, I think 
that's the, like the known thing. So it's miles overkill, it doesn't need to do anything like that. Yeah. There's, a, there's a real good one on this side. To this side. Uh, a bit of a fuck up on this side, like, well, not, not a fuck up, it's still, it, it still sound like that. Um, just want to, I just want to grind it back a bit, clean it up. Maybe we're another well down here, but it's the passenger side of this anyway, so we started on, started on this side. Uh, it's the uh, settings on the, on the welder, we, we couldn't get them, you know, uh, where we wanted them. It's real, um, what's it called? I can't forget the word. It's real, like, delicate, tiny little adjustments on the, it was on this, it was on the, the wire speed and then the amps. So I think we've got amps on seven now. I won't make, I don't know what this is in, in actual numerical terms like. Um, seven, I'll make twice speed on four and it's on cap two as well. Um, and we've got the gas on about the gauge doesn't really read right. So it's on 15, but I seem to think it's about eight. I don't even know what the unit measure is. Please a minute there. Uh, yeah, please a minute, yeah. So we have it on about says 15 on here, but I don't think it's 15. About eight. It's when you get to 110, it's on. No, no big. So, yeah, anyway, um, I don't want this to be much more of a long video, no, no, sorry, any longer video, but because it's written, um, I went over a little bit of the cage, no fair one. Tune in tomorrow, uh, 